Hello, shameless writers. I'm Kristen McTiernan, the nonsense free editor, here for your weekly dose of writing wisdom, or in this case, planner fun. I've been talking about digital planning a lot recently because it's now a part of my repertoire. And I've been getting some questions about, okay, well, what program works for what device and what's Apple and what's Windows and what's Android? Because apparently Samsung has finally made a tablet worth talking about. And I realized that in talking about digital planning, I've only barely touched upon the possibility of planning in OneNote. Now, the beauty of OneNote is that it is truly universal. No matter what device you have, whether it's your specialized e-ink device, whether it's a Windows device, Android, even Mac, it doesn't matter. It works on all of them. And OneNote, especially with the most recent iteration of it, has some truly amazing abilities to digitally plan. And it's also very flexible. I do not personally use it to plan. However, a lot of you have asked me for my recommendations on it. And so what kind of a nonsense free editor would I be if I didn't let you know how to plan in OneNote, what the possibilities were and what the benefits are. So that's what we're gonna be doing today. Okay, so for anyone who might not be familiar with the ubiquitous Microsoft OneNote, this is what it looks like, or at least this is what it looks like sometimes. This is the web app as it appears on my computer. But what's fun um, is that apparently it doesn't always look like that, and you have no control over how it looks. Sometimes you have the two levels of uh, navigation here, and then sometimes you have it on top. I prefer it on top, um, giggity, but apparently this is something that's been phased out. So I don't know why I still have it, but I'm not complaining. I will take it for as long as I want. Um, so as you can see, I use OneNote primarily as kind of a wiki for my works of fiction. Um, this is where I script my YouTube content, um, everything that basically comes to mind. And then on my phone, I have several sticky notes for things that I just need to remember when I'm out and about. However, um, if you want to create a planner, I'm going to show you really quickly how to embed an image in OneNote. And any planner that you find for OneNote, at the end of the day, basically what it is, is an embedded image. So the way that you do this, and this is like, if you're familiar with Microsoft at all, this will look very familiar to you. So you're just going to embed the picture and this can be any kind of um, an image file. This can be a JPEG, it can be a PNG. I highly recommend it be a PNG simply because the quality is better. And you wanna have that flexibility to make it bigger or smaller depending on how you use your planner. Now this drops it in to the document, but as you can see, you know, it's still got the regular text frame around it. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and make this a little bit bigger but you're not done yet. What you're gonna do is right click on it and then you're gonna come down here and you're gonna say set picture as background. Now, this is not a text box anymore. This is an image. Um, you can't click on the image, you can't move it anymore. Um, and so ideally you would create your own image depending on what you wanted and then you would use it with your smart pen um, or you can type into it as you wish and you can duplicate this page as often as you wish. You can make one page for every week. You can number it yourself. The possibilities are, I'm not gonna say endless, but they are very flexible. To show you what kind of the possibilities are, because obviously this is a, a little bit boring, um, we're gonna go ahead and, and we're gonna come over here to a planner that I purchased on Etsy. And they do have several OneNote planners on there. You can, you can choose what works for you. Um, before I start clicking on the months, because I already have it set up with the weekly layout that I prefer most, um, a lot of these do have different layouts for you to choose from. So this particular planner has, uh, looks like three dailies that you can choose from, uh, whichever you want to use. Um, these are not customizable here. Um, you can cross these out with your smart pen. Um, but these are embedded images, so you can't alter them. And maybe I'm a curmudgeon or whatever, but I don't write down gratitude. Okay. I'm not, I'm writing down my appointments and things that I have to do. I can be grateful in my own head. I don't write it down. So I don't use these daily pages. Uh, well, actually I don't use any of the pages cause I'm not using this to plan for any extended period of time. Uh, but if I were, I would not use these daily pages. 
Uh, the weekly layouts, however, um, are great. This is the one that I use, as you'll see. Um, this I'm I'm a, a vertical girl. This is the layout that I like, but not everybody is. And so they have eight different weeks that you can choose from. So it's actually really flexible. Um, if you are a future planner, you have a yearly overview, and then you also can come over here and uh, do important dates. The way that I've set it up, if I was actually to plan in this, is for every month tab, I have the monthly layout, um, I have the goals present, I have the projects present, I don't know how I would use that, um, action steps, really that's just a bulleted list that you can use however you want. And I have four weeks for each month with the option of if I needed to, if it was a long month, I can just go ahead, copy and paste. And there we go. We have a whole other week and you just rename it week five. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Of course, these planners are designed to be used on a tablet, preferably with a pen. That is of course possible. It depends on what kind of device you have. If you have a laptop with a touch screen and pen capability, then you can just position the screen however it's most comfortable for you and write on it as you would any other planner. Uh, tablet obviously is, is the ideal because it's much lighter and more flexible in terms of you know, how you can position it or whatever. My device is the Microsoft Studio laptop, so I have a lot of flexibility with what I do with my screen. However, I found that when writing things, it's actually just easiest to lay it flat as opposed to one of the uh, tilted positions. Now, even if you are not someone who prefers to use a smart pen, the good news is you can still use this on your regular laptop or your desktop with your keyboard. And the way that you do this, all right, let me make this a little bit bigger. Um, there, I think that's enough, is the same way that you would do any other document in OneNote. Um, you just click and it puts the cursor wherever you click. You might have to do it twice. Um, and then you can just say doctor's appointment. Fine. And that's it. You can hit return and just keep going on down or you can click over here and it'll just put the cursor there for you. You don't actually have to push return. You can change the size and structure of this box so it does not go outside the confines. Um, and then you can also, and this is something that's fun for me, um, this particular planner and most of them frankly do come with stickers. And so if you want to use a particular icon, say, let's see, let's, let's oh yeah, you are a yoga person and you're like, I'm gonna go and do yoga. You're just going to right click on this, copy it. You're going to go back to your week and you're going to paste it. Now, the not so good thing about this is you don't actually have a lot of editing capability when it comes to the stickers or the images because you're laying an image on top of another image. And so once it's there, it's kind of going to remain that size. Um, you can move it to another location, but it's not going to let you, you know, click and drag and make it bigger. So that's kind of a bummer, but you know, it's okay. The best thing about this is you don't actually have to just use the stickers that they give you. Um, this works with any image and you can add to this. So if you have a stock of, you know, quote unquote, digital stickers, you can just come back and add these over here. Um, there's a great deal of flexibility and that's part of the reason why a lot of people like digital planning. Anyway, you can have a lot more flexibility for a lot less money. Oh, good heavens. What is happening there? Oh, it will let you click. <laughs> it will let you click and drag. There was just a delay. Maybe it's my internet or something. Um, and so, yeah, I had tried to click and drag and it was like, no, I'm not getting bigger. Um, but then while I was away, it did get bigger. So yay, <laughs> learning something new every day. So yes, you can click and drag. There is that flexibility. Fantastic. Now, like I say, I do not use this as my planner. However, I do really like the idea of it. And honestly, uh, one of the trackers that they did have, I am actually using it and I'm kind of using it for a project that um, I will be doing on this channel. But to be honest, I don't even know if anybody wants to see it. I'm kind of doing it for me. 
Um, I recently rediscovered one of my favorite authors, Richie Tankersley Cusick, from when I was between the ages of 12 and 15. Um, these are all of her books. Um, I read all of them up to here. And this is about the time that I graduated high school. And I wasn't really into her stuff anymore. I moved on to bigger and better stuff. Um, but she's a great author. And uh, in rereading uh, her first novel, uh, The Lifeguard, I'm like, wow, this actually is good. As an editor, I can say objectively, this is good. It wasn't just my stupid little preteen self um, that was enamored with it. She is legitimately good. So I'm actually going to be going through all of her books. And I don't think I'm going to make a video for each video or for each book that seems excessive, but you know, I might be, I'm going to be making several of them. So buckle up for that. And as you can see from the plethora of content that came with this planner that I purchased, what you can do with OneNotes is limited. I'm not going to say only by your imagination because there are limitations, but you can create a lot of stuff, just any kind of thing that would be helpful to you. And as long as it's in an image format, you can add it to OneNote. They have finance trackers. They have different types of trackers. Let's see, habits to buy, uh, reading. Uh, I've seen these a lot in the planners community. Um, I am not for this. I just basically use Goodreads if I want to keep track of what I'm reading. Yearly mood. So basically, I'm not going to say it's like a bullet journal, but it is bullet journal-esque and how extremely flexible it is. OneNote is a lifesaver for me. I really like that not only is it flexible, it's also easy. The YouTube algorithm has recently decided that I am obliged to purchase Notion and use it. My feed is chock full of Thomas Frank, Ali Abdal, and a bunch of other productivity people, I guess, trying to make me get Notion. I refuse. I refuse YouTube. And frankly, I feel attacked that you would attempt to persuade me away from OneNote to purchase this overly complicated, nonsensical program. All jokes aside, Notion does look like a very complete and excellent program, but it is very complicated. There's a steep learning curve and it's really designed for people who have teams. I don't have teams. It's just me. I don't even have a virtual assistant, though I do dream one day of having one, if I'm being honest. So if you're like me and you don't like things to be overly complicated, but you do like flexibility and possibility, OneNote is definitely the way to go. And as far as digital planning goes... If I'm being honest, you guys, even if I had an iPad, I would probably still choose to plan in OneNote as opposed to GoodNotes. Maybe I'm just a Windows curmudgeon. I accept that, but OneNote is where my heart lies, and maybe yours does too. And if so, I highly recommend skipping on over to Etsy and see what they've got for you. If you decided that this particular planner is definitely the one for you. I have left a link to it below. This is not a sponsored link. I was not paid to do this. This is just something that I really liked and decided to buy. This is just the planner that caught my eye. I think I saw it on Facebook maybe. If you like my planner videos, give me a like, share, and subscribe so I know to make more of them. And until next time, take care and write well.